Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Um, so now that I got the body painted, we're going to start putting on the, the fixtures, the lighting fixtures and the door handles and stuff, and do the interior. So that's going to be the next part on this build. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get started on this, um, on building this interior and, and putting on these fixtures. So let me move the camera in closer and we'll get started on all this stuff. Okay guys, so the first part of this is going to be the dash. And you're going to need these little screws here. I don't know if you can see these things. They're so tiny. Anyways. Alright, so... They're going to go into these holes here, right there on the, hope you can see those, but. And then you're going to need this piece right here. And according to the picture, this goes underneath like this. So it looks like it's going to be a challenge to get these screws up in there. So they're going to thread down through the top of the inside. So I'll stick one of those screws down in here. Okay, so that's on there. And next, what you'll need is your M3 by 10 millimeter screw and your steering wheel. And that's going to go right into the top of the steering wheel. Just like that. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, so next it actually says to start mounting it into the interior. But I think what I'm going to do is start putting the decals on first because it may be easier to put the decals on now while this stuff's still out. So I'm going to get start pulling off some of these decals and put them on first. Okay, so I got the decals mounted on. In there, in here, so that's the back side of the truck. So, next, I'm going to work on this gear shifter, and again, we're using these tiny screws here. And that's going to come up from underneath of here. And then this will sit on top of this piece here. And then you'll put it in, in the inside here. And you'll mount it from the bottom. So let me get that on there. Okay, I got that shifter in there. It just mounts from the bottom down here with those two screws. And next it says we're going to take these sticky pads and we're going to mount them to the bottom of this and just stick it down in there okay so what i did was i just cut three small pieces off of that and i'll peel this off and stick it down in there all right so that's what it looks like it's just stuck down in there it's holding it it's not really, hopefully that will stay on, it shouldn't come off. I know this thing is going to take a beating, but, so just like that. Okay, so next we're going to get the radiator with the fans on it. And you will be using the M3 by 10 millimeter screw. And your fans will go on here and here. And the cover goes on it and the screw goes inside there. And I'll twist these on and be right back. Okay, next we're going to work on on this right here, the headlight. And you're going to need 
this piece right here and it goes on the back of here apparently you should have a light to go in there first but I don't have any lights with this so I'm just going to mount it like that and then these pieces here these small pieces are going to go with with this guy right here and that just goes over the back of that and again it's supposed to be a light that goes in there but I don't have lights for it yet so so since I don't have lights for it yet we'll just mount it and leave it and we're going to be using all these tiny tiny screws here if you can see that hopefully but all those are going to be used for this stuff here okay so I got these put on here so these are going to go on to the front of the car actually well, they're going to go inside but they're going to mount from the front from the headlights there's four holes in there so I'm going to mount them in there but I think first is the uh, radiator. So the radiator is going to go first. Okay, for the radiator, you're going to use these two screws right here to mount them in. But it doesn't give me a size for these screws here. So, but they're the only two in there. They're the only two in this this last kit that look like this. So we'll use those to mount in the radiator. Alright guys, so I've got the the headlights fixtures mounted in, radi radiator mounted in. It's going to look like this. So, next is the back. The tail lights. And we'll be using these pieces here. With that small piece there, you're going to screw the, put the screws into there. Again, you're going to be using those real tiny, tiny silver screws, and then we'll, then we'll mount them also through the back here. With uh, there should be a this piece right here. Got okay. I got the rear lighting fixtures on there. Next is the windshield wipers. windshield uppers are on they just mounted in from the inside and you're going to use these little spacers those two things right there those little round things those actually go on the inside here we'll do the handles next and that also comes with the back piece that goes on the inside here and then this goes on the outside and then you'll screw those in. And then we'll next we'll be mounting the interior after that. Okay. And I'll be back in a few. Alright guys, just a little bit of advice. Um, these little handles are it's really hard to get these screws into. So what I took my, did was took my reaming tool and just slightly increase the hole size just a little bit at the top just so I can get these screws started in there because otherwise it's a bear to try to get in there all right guys handles are on interior is in handles actually mount through this part of the interior in here I don't know if you can see that without a light here's a light you can see right down in there you see those two screws right there that's where the handles mount to the interior um, it also says to stick on um, those those sticky pieces of tape that they gave you up around the sides of your interior up 
in between the interior and the body. I did not do that at this time, but it seems to be holding pretty good. I may not even worry about doing that because actually the in the back here, the interior sits down on top of that that fixture for the light anyway, so that holds that piece in there. And with these mounted here, it actually holds the interior in pretty well. So here is your vehicle. I'll show you the whole truck in a minute here. All right, guys. There is the finished product. Got her all painted. The only thing I have left to do really is just bind it to a, to a, to a radio. But for now, this build is complete. I'll give you a look around. There's the inside. little bit of the flex all right there she is okay guys I just want to thank you for for joining me in this build Thanks for all the likes and the comments and the shares and for all the support. This build is complete. Hope you enjoyed the build. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.